And welcome back everybody to some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duels. It's me, Cooper, and we're gonna see what this stuff is. Let's see what the practice is first, because I'm kind of confused. Uh, apparently they're gonna give us a loner deck, and we're gonna find out what this loner deck does during the practice mode. Let's see what kind of cards this game has to offer us. Alright, looks like I will have an- Oh, look at you with your- Oh, Speed Warrior and Drunk Warrior, okay. I mean, Junk Synchron, whoops. Uh, yeah, I know what a Synchro Summon is. Funny enough, I have played some 5Ds games, so I know how to Synchro Summon. Those games taught me how to Synchro Summon. So basically, all I have to do is draw a card, double summon, that'll do the job. I was just going to wait until uh, Speed Warrior died, but we could do it this way too. And we're going to activate good old double summon. By doing this, I can now summon... Yeah, I, I know I can summon two monsters. I can now summon the Speed Warrior. And on top of the Speed Warrior, I can summon the Junk Synchron. And thanks to these two monsters... Yeah, I know, I know. I'm, I'm going to try a Synchro Summon right now. I can do a Synchro Summon. Of either of these, obviously I'm going to go with Junk Warrior because he's the cool one. Nothing wrong with Scarred Warrior. I've actually used it in uh, my... Oh, look at you, Junk Warrior, with the little animation and whatnot. I've actually used it in one of my uh, Let's Plays, Millennium Duels, to be specific. So let me see. Yeah, I know I know how to change battle phase. I've done it many times now. I know this is only episode two, but I've actually done it. And there we go, everybody. The Synchro King has been defeated. Honestly, a very misleading name. They kind of suck. I don't know why my rabbit keeps dabbing, but we'll take it. All right. Next, we're going to do the duel. Just so that we can bounce between a real duel and a fa- Ooh, Reinforcements of the Army. That's a really good card. If I make a warrior deck, which I do like to make because I like Dream Clown. But Dream Clown doesn't really- I don't need- I don't really need him that way. I like Giant Rat more for Dream Clown. I need my recruiters. Okay, this is an interesting start. I finally get to figure out what that freaking card does. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can summon one Dragon-type monster from your hand. You cannot switch summon monster except Dragon-type monsters, nor conduct your battle phase. The turn you activate this effect, you can only choose one Komodo, whatever. Oh, but it doesn't say what level Dragon-type. And since I drew a Kaiser Dragon, I feel pretty safe. So let me go ahead and summon Luster Dragon. Let me go and activate the Stamping Destruction. Mr. Master of the Mystic Art. Oh, is he going to be a Spellcaster deck? Oh, boy. Alright, well, let's see if Mr. Spellcaster has a Royal Magical Library. Well, that's not a card I even recognize. That's called Apprentice Piper. It is a Spellcaster, but like I said, it's not even a card I recognize. I don't know why, I just assume all the cards that uh, my opponents are going to use are cards I, I will recognize. Probably because my deck is a bunch of old school cards from my time period. Uh, but Or my era of dueling. But, you know, that's just because I made this deck, basically. Let's go ahead and summon this little Komodo the Dragon. It has 100 attack points. Yeah, I know I'm leaving myself kind of open by putting him out there, but screw it. I want to do 2,000 damage this turn. Alright, let's see. Wow, my opponent is having some real trouble playing Yu-Gi-Oh! today. That is kind of a shame. Um, Dragon, I'm just gonna... Normally I would keep you as like a safety precaution, but we're just gonna get rid of you. Summon the Kaiser Glider. It's such a great card. There's Apical card. Yeah, that's fine. We don't need his effect anyway. Let's go ahead and set this. Go into our battle phase and do a heap of damage. And if my opponent wants to do anything to me on the last turn, that'd be great. Uh, otherwise, I'm gonna win the duel next turn. Guaranteed. Do you want to actually play a card, Master of Mystic Arts? Because this is getting pathetic. Oh, you also have Monster Aborn. Okay, look at you with your fancy card. Maybe I should have Monster Aborn just to prevent you from Monster Aborning, even though your monster had 100 attack points and I didn't want it. But whatever, let's see. Axe Dragonute, that'll end the duel. So, let's just be extra super duper safe and use Smashing Ground just to make sure there's nothing else hiding down there. Let's summon up our Axe Dragonute. Let's get into the battle phase. Let Kaiser Glider deal with this monster. Oh, miss that thing gets to do something, right? Magical Undertaker? And look at that, I was right. Alright, so I guess Smashing Ground did not matter in the end. But, Luster Dragon shall end the duel for me, making everything worthwhile. We beat the Master of the Mystic Arts. Terrible duelist, all things considered. The Cooper is much stronger. My rabbit seems to dab every time I win. I need to have a talk with them. About my dabbing policy. Alright, reinforcements of the army. 
let's go ahead and get back to practice you know bounce it back and forth plus i want to make whatever that 600 i'm just gonna say dollars i'm gonna assume those are dp in this game uh since all the games i play say dp for deck dual points or deck points or dick points whatever we're playing goblin bird oh this is gonna be exceed summoning See, even though I never watched the show or even played the game up to this point, I've seen Exceed Summons thanks to my tournaments, so... Oh, and you know what? Millennium Duels, I've done Exceed Summons, so you know what? I could do this. Plus, my friends in real life do Exceed Summons, so what are you gonna do? I don't even know what that is. Okay, I know Goblin Bird because I've seen it many times, so... Yeah, don't have to be a professional duelist. It could be old school and still notice Goblin Bird. It's actually a pretty good card. And there we go. Let's do an Exceed Summon. I see. I would like to try an XYZ Summon. Let's get out Utopia. Alright. Ooh, that's a... Look at that! That's, you know what? This this game's animations, they may not be as good as the Tac Force games, but it's still pretty fancy. And for a free game, we'll see how free later on. For a free game, we'll, uh, we'll give it a pass. That's pretty good. Plus, that feels really... It feels so good to win like that. The controller has this weird shaking, and it's just very pleasant. Alright, we get 600 bucks for that. That's pretty cool. Let's get back into a duel. Uh, let's see. Clear Rewards. What is that? Destructor Jammer. I actually don't know what that is. Must be past the GX era. If I don't recognize it. Or late GX era, where there are more cards I just wouldn't recognize. Um, Elemental Hero era of GX. Alright, that's a pretty good hand. I can make do with this. I mean, obviously I wish I had more... I don't know, monsters, but I'll, I'll make do. I could have swore I made a 20 monster deck. Gradius with Gradius option and 7 completed. Not bad. Not bad at all. Damn it, if I activate the effect, I die. But if I don't activate the effect, I take damage. It's all good. We'll just uh, take damage. Because I might draw the perfect card right now. Take this. Rush recklessly. Alright. Well, let's go ahead and activate the smashing of the ground. Obviously, I'm targeting the Gradius. No, I don't want to do that. Gradius will die, killing the Gradius option with it. We're going to summon good old Ragnarok. And then we're going to get some backup cards just in case things go south. I don't seem to have any discard cards, so... I don't really need to run Silver's Cry in my hand. I I can put it on the field and feel pretty safe. How you feel about that, Mr. Bun Bun on the side? You like my plays? You think they're okay? Okay, I'll try to do better. Eh, that card's pretty weak. This Gradius deck is pretty interesting, at least. Ah, you have your own 700 buff card. Well, I guess I will have to activate Rush Recklessly. I don't know why it targets the opponent when I'm trying to do a positive card like this, but... Whatever, let's just destroy another Gradius monster, or Gradius type monster. And draw a monster card. Yeah, Lord of D. Now if I could just get Pol or whatever my version of polymerization is in this game. I forgot what it was called, like Fusion Substitute or something? I, I don't remember. All I remember is winning, and that's what we're going to do. And sadly, I have nothing to protect Lord of D, but at least Lord of D can, can protect me. From stuff like um, Tribute to the Doom and other targeting destruction effects. Or just targeting effects in general. Oh yeah, we got the double Lord of D. <laughs> the double D. And I'm talking about Eddie and Eddie double D. I'm not, I'm not being gross. Uh, well, not even gross, but I'm not being... I don't know what I am. You guys are going to have to figure that out yourselves. Uh, let's see, I could make a Link Monster. And that would be new. I don't really do that since it's not from my era. But you know what? Let's see. I also can make this one. This thing has only 1,800 attack. This one has 26. Why is Gaia Saber the Lightning just way better than this monster? I, I don't get it. There's like no effects either. What's... What? <laughs> what? This makes no sense. Alright, screw it. Two plus monsters, right? So uh, two or more. Let's do Lord of D and that one. Oh, wait. Uh, does it have to be more than two? Or can I... I'm trying to just do two. Hold up, guys. Let me see if I could just do two. Set the card... Oh, no. It says three. Okay. So, the, they both require three. Never mind. I'm I'm good. I would rather have three monsters than one. 
Holy crap, I'm so glad I know that Gradius monsters have weak defenses. And there we go. Weelp? If uh, this Gradius guy doesn't pull something off, my Lord of D's are going to beat him up. The Lord of D beatdown has come in pretty clutch. And he's done absolutely nothing. You know, I have yet to link summon, so let me... Uh, I mean, let me let me try summoning that guy a guy, just, just for fun. Boop, boop, boop. Alright, here we go, everybody. Link summon. Hey, Gaia Saber gets his own little animation? That's pretty cool. Let's, you know what? I like Gaia the Fierce Knight, and this guy lets, has the same attack as Gaia the Dragon Champion, so... I like this card. And big damage. Our opponent is out of here. The Gradius deck failed to impress. All right. We're almost there, folks. We've done really good so far. We got Destruction Jammer, which I should probably read that that card does, but I'm not going to. All right. Another loner deck. We'll just deal with it. I'm a loner. I'm not even a loner. I have a shit ton of friends. But whatever. You all can be loners for me. <laughs> oh, man. Let's see what we go. Oh, hello. Pendulum Summons. Funny enough, I actually have no idea how to Pendulum Summon. I've never done it in my entire life. So this should be a learning experience. How do I pendulum summon? I'm guessing I know what a pendulum monster looks like. That's this guy right here. So that is a pendulum monster. Uh-huh. So go to this P scale right there. Okay, seems simple enough. Uh-huh. This one, P scale right there. Yippo. And then, thanks to that, I could try a Pendulum Summon. How do you do that? Do you click on one of these? Pendulum Summon! Two level 7 mon- Oh, whoa, hold up. Two level 7 monsters. It's funny, I thought Odd Eyes Dragon was a Pendulum Monster. I didn't, I didn't know it was just this weird looking- It actually looks not as cool as the one I know. Alright, and there we go. That's 5,000 big damage. President's Pendulum, I'm sorry, but uh, you are going to be- losing your presidency today good old impeachment has been enforced well oh, there we go we got to use an odd eyes that was kind of cool well we only got one more duel till the goal i guess uh probably should do the practice first just to be sure just to be sure guys it's learning how to link summon i've actually already link summoned it was my first time link summoning in this game so there we go I like that the cards can have card sleeves. I just don't want to... I hope I don't have to pay for them. There should be free... I'm sure there's free ones. I'm sure. I'm sure. Do I get a free one for doing this? That'd be cool. Can I get one with Baby Dragon on it? Or Time Wizard? Or Dream Clown? Dream Clown would be the best, but... We'll take what we can get. Alright, Link Slayer. Uh, special Summon Link Slayer. Alright, as you, as you command, game. I Special Summon the Link Slayer. Which lets me Special Summon Backup Secretary. Which, uh, lets me Link Summon. Okay, two, try a Link Summon. So Link Summons just don't require anything, do they? It's just like, hey, have two monsters on the field. Okay. What two monsters would you like? Any two. We'll make them whatever you want. And let's see what I just made. I just made Honeybot. All right. Link Infer Flyer. Okay, what about it? Boop, boop, summon. Um, right here, sure. And then, what? You want me to do another Link Summon? Okay. Summon a Link 3 monster. Sure, let's do it. We got a Link 3 monster. You got a Link monster, and then we got this thing. And we got Decode. Whoops, couldn't read the rest of it. I just saw Decode. Decode Talker. Well, that's a special card, apparently. If it gets a little animation, I'm assuming it's special. I wonder if this is going to be like Rush Duels, where Guy the Fierce Knight gets an animation. Rush Duels had some good animations. And Link Knight has been defeated. We did it, everybody. We have learned how to use all types of Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. Except Rush, which I did a whole Let's Play on Rush, so we don't need to know. Let's just do a duel now. Alright, Clear Rewards. I have no idea what that is, but we're going to get that. You're going second. Okay, thank you for deciding that, gods. Gods of Ma Duel Master. Or Master Duel. It's 
funny. Right now I'm playing this game, and I'm also playing another thing, a series on my channel called Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, GX Ultimate Masters. So we got a bunch of master stuff. Oh crap, double cost on. I gotta kill that. Double cost on's a very problematic card. Lancer Dragonute, it's okay. I got Luster Dragon right now. And good old Luster's got plenty to kill it. You see, that would be a problem, but I got something called Silver's Cry, and uh, it's gonna help out. Now, little problem with Silver's Cry is that it's gonna be a little, a little dangerous to not have any more options in my hand. Unless I top deck Lord of D, then my opponent's dead. I don't care what his fiendish deck has, well, has in store for me. If I get a Lord of D, the duel is over. Yeah, you guys hear that duel runner in the background? Jesus. They're gonna run over my house one of these days. Alright, just a back row card. Well, it looks like that's all they had was that double cost on and probably some tribute monsters in their hand. Threatening War is a very safe card, and luckily I could just uh, use Lancer Dragonute. I also could get Strong Wind Dragon out here. Uh, if this card is tribute summoned with the dragon, it gets half the original attack of the tribute monster, so it would actually be a really strong card. But I'm going to go with the Lancer Dragonute, and the reason why I'm doing that is because two monsters is always better than one. It's just, it is, okay? It is. You just gotta trust me on that one. I can see my opponent's field is starting to show some cracks. I know mine is too, but I don't know why mine has these cracks on it. Hey, Tribute to the Doom. I was talking about that card earlier. That's funny. All right, Tribute to the Doom did its job. And damn it, I really wanted Lord D. I really want Lord D. You guys have no idea. I want that Lord D. Uh, but whatever. Let's go ahead and do a thousand. I shouldn't have said that out loud, I just realized. I'm putting the words together in my head. They don't mean what I meant. They don't- wait, no. The way I said them made them sound like something- You know what? You guys are adults. I don't need to tell you. Except for you kids watching. Oh crap! Reckless Greed! It's one of the strongest cards in the game! Oh, Thebian Nightmare. Okay, that's a no-no. Alright. Yeah, yeah. I, I The second I saw it, I was like, no, that's not happening. I can live without it. Let's go ahead and draw another Luster Dragon. Funny enough, Luster Dragon by itself can beat this thing. So I'm not even going to summon Strong Wind Dragon. Well, now it doesn't... I'm glad I didn't summon Strong Wind Dragon. That's all I have to say is I'm glad I didn't summon it. Little sucky that I got to hide in defense mode. But like I said, I draw Lord of D and it's over. And if I don't draw Lord of D, I'm fine. Oh no, you had to skip your draw phase because Reckless Greed was truly rec reckless. And now I get to draw a card. My third Luster Dragon, obviously. Nope, Divine Dragon Ragnarok. Well, you're the other half of the fusion that I wanted, but uh, not what I wanted at the moment. Let's summon the Strong Wind Dragon. Everyone say hello. This thing's got a rockin' 3150. It could take on a Blue Eyes. Hell, it could almost take on a Black Skull Dragon, my all-time favorite Yu-Gi-Oh card. Reckless Greed has cost you this duel because you can no longer draw. If I could just draw Lord of D, I would love to use this uh, Flu to the Summoning Dragon effect. Probably never get to see it again, so... Damn it, Monster Born. Nothing died that I care about. Let's go ahead and let Strong Wind Dragon do the, do the victory for us. Final Blow! We did some big damage here, everybody. The Rabbit has dabbed and has j danced. There we go. And we've made it to our goal. Is the goal a challenge in itself? So what is this? Field parts, trap hole. Field parts inspired by a trap hole. Uh, okay, I don't know what a field part is, but what? whatever. I'll learn. I'll learn on down the road. Mate, Sangan number one has earned. Mate? I'm going to mate with a Sangan? Okay. I guess that's something I'm doing today. Nobody watch. It's going to be a little weird. I can make it work. It's got a big mouth. <laughs> oh man, I'm going to jail. Alright, let's get out of here. Ah, we have done an entire thing. And now, to reward ourselves for such a great... Oh wait, we did a bunch of missions too, apparently. Hold up. For doing such a great job, let's see what we can get. Claim all rewards at once. Square button. 1,040 gems. Nice. Alright, and these missions. Claim all rewards at once. Gems, uh, CPR, CPCSR, CPN, CPUR, and Legacy Pack Ticket. I have no idea what any of that stuff is. All I know is that I just earned it, so great for me. This game needs a second just for that. What the hell is a gift box? 
Oh, I guess I have no friends. I should probably make friends. I I, I have friends. I have fun. I, I, my friend Wookie plays this game. Go check him out at Drunken Dragon Animation. You'll love it. So let's go ahead and go shopping, guys. All right, you can purchase packs here. Very nice. Uh, pack structure deck that okay. Pre-built decks are always good. Dual pass bundle deals value sets that come out ash blossom of joy spring yada yada all right let's see stalwart forest revival of legends master pack um what's the secret pack there are no products okay what's the bonus pack legacy pack do you know cards that wrote the history of the Yu-Gi-Oh trading card game there's this one okay well that might help me a lot because uh i don't uh know a lot of new stuff and that sounds like old stuff uh, if I spend a lot of money, I can get a structure deck, Magician of Pendulum, and Reconstruct. Those look like decks I would not want to learn, so there we go. Accessories. See, this is important. Accessories is where our money should be spent. Um, Ancient Gear Wyvern, Cyber Dragon. You see, get me a uh, Dream Clown emote thing, and I'm in. These guys are whatever. Special. Dual Pass Gold. Well, crap. You could just buy the Dual Pass? Hell yeah. Amazing. Amazing. I shall spend my gems to get the dual pass. The fact that you could spend gems to get the dual pass is amazing. That's really nice. All right, bundle deal. Let's see. Solemn Judgment Bundle. Limit one per player. Okay. Lightning Storm Bundle. I don't know what that is. Ash Blossom Bundle. I am a... I, I hate Ash Blossom so much. I hate... I did subscriber duels with my fans and oh my god, did that backfire. Everyone used Ash Blossom on me. And I'm an old school guy, so yeah, that was... That was bad. Let's see. A special set that includes 10 Master Packs, guaranteed to have at least one Super Rare, and one bonus Ultra Rare, a Solemn Judgment. Whew. Yeah, you know what? Let's do it. That sounds like a good deal. Let's let's buy a Solemn Judgment. They're probably all good deals. I don't know how if the Master Pack's any good, but we're about to find out. All right, let's open. Well, we got two shiny Master Packs. I guess they kind of spoil it for you. Oh, well, I got like a Thunder Strike. Is that a good thing? I don't know. Let's find out. It's my first time opening packs. I seem to have gotten one decent card. Ooh, Arsenal Cyber Dragon! Yeah! We got an a super rare... Wait, is that super rare or secret rare? I can't tell. Whatever it is, Supervised, which is good for Gemini monsters. And we got our Machina, our Machina Redeployment, which I have no idea what that is. Who cares? I got a Cyber Dragon, and I know what Arsenal Summoner is. I'll take it. All right. Let's see anything special. Let's find out. Uh, I got a water charmer. I got... Okay, why did that card spin? Like it's special. What, you, what makes you so special? Picari at Igni Ignis. What? The hell is this card? Why is there a card that has at in the name? That's so weird. Okay, I have no idea what that is. I'm just going to ignore it. That's so, That's a weird one. All right, lightning strikes again, and we are going to get... Oh, wow, a lot of cards I don't recognize. I know Emblem of the Dragon Destroyer. The rest of these, I have no idea. Whoa, what's with all the lightning on this one? Whoa, okay, this pack got real shiny all of a sudden. Let's just open it. Okay, Cyber Dragon Veer, I can use that. Uh, the rest of these... I guess Enemy Controller is really good. I could use Enemy Controller. There's a couple decks I have with that. Two little lightning strikes. What, did the li what does the lightning mean? Didn't seem to make a difference. Oh, Limit Reverse. Nice. Amazon is Blowpiper, the worst one. Heck yeah. Why do these cards keep bouncing like that? What does that mean? When you tribute summon this monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. If you do, type attribute and level of this card became the same as the tribute monster. Okay, whatever. Uh, angel number one. I know angel number seven. I didn't know there was angel number one. And I know zone because I watched 5Ds. Ah, uh, yeah. One little thunderbolt. I love it. What can this one thunderbolt offer me? I got a... Ooh, Air Knight Perish Path. I like that card. Ooh, I like that card a lot. And we got a Goliath card. Cool. Oh, what the hell? Where did this guy come from? The hell was that monster? Why'd you po open up my pack with such ferocity? Oh, crap, Rosaria, I actually do know you. I know Mystical Shrine Ball. And Hand Destruction, I do know as well. 
Everything else is off my radar. Everything else is off the radar. I'm going to have to apologize to so many fans watching this show because they're going to be like, you don't know shit. And I'm going to be like, yeah, <laughs> I'm glad we're on the same page. Oh, one of the cards I'm not allowed to see for some reason. Oh, a assault core. I actually do. What, where did I get that key from? That's weird. I actually do know a assault core because my friend used ABCs on me when we were playing. So I was like, oh, you dick. I didn't know that there was stuff past VWXYZ. Other than that, I have no idea what this other stuff is, but ASL Core is cool. Alright, got us a little thunder. Oh, what is that shiny card? Let's see, we got Steam Gyroid! Yeah, baby! Magic Drain! Yeah, baby! Odd Eyes Phantom Dragon! Yeah, baby! Uh, it's cool looking. It's all dead like and dead and like that. All right, let's ignore that. We got Magic Drain, very good. We got Evolution Burst, which can be good. We got the Steam Gyroid, the most legendary monster in all of Yu-Gi-Oh! G. I'm joking, this is so bad, I love it. Let me just get Power Bond and we'll make a Roid deck. Just around Steam Gyroid, of course. Curse of Dragon, hell yeah! Gotta put that in a deck. Hell, I'm using a Dragon deck right now. I have no idea what Storm is. You know what, I do know what Storm is. This is for Spellcasters, right? Oh, never mind. that's different than what I was thinking. Never mind. Did not know what that was. All right, you found new card pack. Cool. I got my Solemn Judgment. So, is this uh, in rarity? So, what is SR? Is that super rare? Should I just assume that's super rare? Where, where can I find rarities? Okay, other than that, I just... I'll just live with it. Secret card pack. I don't know what most of those are. Uh, so I got the Solemn Judgment thing. That was great. Guys, we're going to end it off there today. I want to thank you all for watching. I guess I unlocked some secret packs, which uh, have a couple hours left on them. So sorry if I don't do them. My voice is going on me because I've been having some trouble. Um, but I still wanted to record this for you guys because it's just such a cool and interesting game. And I think I'm going to love it. I'm honestly, I'm probably going to play this all the time. So see you all next time. And uh, remember to like and subscribe. Bye-bye, everybody.